Talmud, Morai Verabotai. Shakol means everything was created by Hashem's words. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shakol Niyah Bidvaruch. Amen. Do matches have the status of Kli Shemelachto Leisu? Or do they count as wood designated to burn? Matches have the status of Kli Shemelachto Leisu. If you <coughs> forgot speech key, you forgot in your pocket on Shabbat. Yes. Can you take them out of your pocket on Shabbat or no? no or is it like money? What's the status of so speech key? Of course it's clipot, definitely clipot. All the evil forces are on it. But what's the halachot about it? If you don't need it, don't touch it. What do you... I, I don't want it to be in my pocket, Shabbat. Matches in my pocket, Shabbat. I want to put uh, Sidhu. It bothers me, that. Okay, take it out. Can I take it out? Yes, uh, if, if I have $1,000 in my pocket, it bothers me. Can I also take it out? $1,000 doesn't bother you. Yeah. bothers me. Yeah. You're going outside on the street. You don't know who you're going to meet on the street. $1,000 cash. Hamas. Okay. It bothers you. Okay. I'd rather keep the cat out of my pocket. Okay. Can I do it? Take it out. No, I'm not allowed to the money. Not, not Abnormal, not regular. Good. Uh, what about speech key? No, speech key allowed to take it regular. Why? Because speech key has the status of the pencil. We said if the pencil is sitting on your table and you need the space. This speech key. Yeah, yeah, this speech key. Yeah. You need the space of the this speech key is on the table. Erev Shabbat, when you spell it, Tamasavli Pasli, Udata. Shabbat came in. The speech key is on the table. Okay. Can you move the speech key regular away from there or no? Says Ravadia, yes, regular. Why? Because it's the status of pencil. Yes. The okay. same way pencil, you're allowed to move regular? Yes. If I need a space of it, yes? yes. So, too, speech key. Why? Because what speech key meant for? To light fire. That's you're allowed to light fire on Shabbat? No. no. What pencil meant for? To write. Are you allowed to write on Shabbat? No. no. So the same with the pencil, if you need the space of it, you're allowed to move it regular. So to matches, if you want to move the matches, you're allowed to move it regular. What, what, do you, what, do you, what can you possibly do with matches besides lighting fire? Uh, so Ravad Yosef said, is it considered to be like pieces of wood that you throw into the fire? Because pieces of wood that throw into the fire, since they are meant to be burned, they consider it like rocks. Right, right. Which is, uh, you, you cannot move if you need the space of it. Gufo. Therefore? So, how do we treat matches? It trashes. Hey, so the, what, how do we treat the matches? That's the question. Do you treat the matches like, like pencil, <laughs> or do you treat it like pieces of wood that meant to be burned? If it's like pieces of wood that meant to be burned, so then it's a hundred percent mukti. It's like gufo, mukti Muhammad gufo. But if you say no, matches, I'm not burning the matches for the sake of to take out fire out of them. I light them in order to light things with them. Cigaretta or somebody's house, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, but it's not meant for to burn itself. It's meant to light something else. Got the difference? So therefore, the category of matches is like pencil kli. It is a kli. Shemelachto, that you do with this melacha. Leisu. Just like a pencil. Huh? Just like a pencil. Okay, got it? Let's go. Number two. Does a complete week count as Kli a vessel or not? You know, back in the day, the wicks used to be twisted 
them, themselves I, means a person had to yeah, yeah we cut and there was no like those red ready to go easy easy thing and that's it done deal they used to twist it so if you have a complete week it's already twisted it's ready to go is it considered to be a vessel by itself let's say you have this week right now on the table you have those weeks right now by mistake you left it in the kitchen somewhere and your daughter will be very upset why you're putting it in a different place then you waste my time looking for them you won't be forward she's gonna open her mouth you won't put it in the right place can you move it or no says about yeah it's the message shabbat page 47a wrote that a complete week counts as clear a vessel so what's the vessel what are you using What's the clay that you use the wick? You're not using it in order to burn it, in order to give out heat out of it like a pieces of wood. Rather, you're using it for lighting other things. So since it's meant for lighting other things, those photos is considered to be clay. So so too says how about yourself is the matches. It's considered to be a clay. Is that a carrot? I mean, how do you, is it gonna be case by case we're gonna do? I mean, you can take from here concepts. If you have a broken table, the only reason that you're keeping it outside is until the next Lag Baomer or until the next uh, Shashlik you're going to do and you're going to throw it there. What is the top of the table? Gufo. But what if you have a certain torch that you want to go in the next parade pro Israel? What is that torch meant for? To burn it or to light with it? And so say after you're gonna light it, it's gonna still remain, or you're gonna destroy it. What's the idea behind it? If I have logs of wood that they are dry pieces of wood, I just want to burn them in order to get the heat out of them, and it's gonna get destroyed. It's gonna turn into ashes. So these logs, dry logs, are considered to be mukze mehamad gufo. If somebody left left that log in my on uh, on my table, I can't move. I need a space. I cannot move it. Unless you do Shinu, unless you do call a go, you do all those solutions. But generally, it, uh, normally, normally moving it, you cannot. Got it? <clears throat> okay, very good. Continue. Number three. Read, David. Is a used wick mukta. Oh, now we spoke number two about clean wick that it is not, it was not used yet. Now, what if it was used? Very practical when you have Yom Tov, and then Shabbat, and you have the Yom Tov. Or you have the Yom Tov, then it comes to Shabbat. Because on Yom Tov, you're lighting the candles, or you're preparing to light the candles. So now, what if you want to take out the old wick and put new wicks? Taking out the old wick is considered that you're carrying mukta or no? What's the status of it? That's the question, yeah. Ah. But, uh, if it's used already, that wick is used. Fitil, how does it come down? Fitil. That's called tiltul minatsad. You're moving it by the way. What if you're moving it regularly? You want to take it out? And throw it to the garbage, put a new one. Are you allowed or no? Or you just want to take it out, not put a new one? Your solution will only work when you want to. Uh, Put something else in between. Uh, 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 instead, I'm sorry. But what if I don't want to put something in? Shabbat, you don't touch it anyway. Let's say you want to touch it. When it's around, the kids take it and they mess the table, mess the floors, mess anything. Balagan said them. After it shuts off, I want to take it, put it in the garbage. Can I pick it up regularly or no? No. no. Like a candy, no? Okay. Is it like a candy wrapper? Yes, a candy wrapper. That's the question. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Number three. Even Read. A, even a used wick is not muktza. Oh no, no one will use it on Shabbat, but that is just because a person doesn't want to touch it in order to avoid getting dirty. In here? But it is still usable. Usable for what? To light it. To yeah. light with this. Can light it again? Yeah. After, after Shabbat, you want to do Abdallah. Yeah. Can you use this wick that was used? Yeah. So especially mm -hmm. nowadays. That the wick is this big, and they only use the first few millimeters of it, not even centimeter. So you have the whole rest of the wick is still available to use. We are sensitive today; just throw it out, get a new one. It's easier. But it's 100% usable. So therefore, pechoraka, it's like a disposable cup. 
if I have disposable cup, it's empty. After it's empty, it became mukse. No, what, you're going to reuse it? You can use it again. But... You could, but how many people wash it and reuse it? You know, you, you, there was a shoe over here. Ten people were sitting. Everybody left their cups, they left. Now you're coming, let's say you want to do chesed with the synagogue, you want to clean after them. Can you, you take away their cups or it's considered to be mukta because you're not going to reuse it. You're not going to wash it and reuse it but like my baburi used to do. It bothers you. Potentially you can. It bothers you. Uh, potentially you could, right? Well, you choose to not. So do we go after the potential or do we go after what you're going to do? Only. Potential. So we go after the potential. Got it? So therefore that week, it's not mukta, even though it was used. I'm not going to use it now. It's like a piece of garbage. Potentially could be used. It still has a value. Right? It still has a value. True. As long as we want to we want to categorize it under he still has a usage. If it doesn't have a usage, it turns into gufo. And gufo is the highest level of mukta. It's body. Yeah? Got it? Um so the only reason you would be allowed to do all this is if you need the space of it or if the kids are gonna make balagam with it. Yeah, I want to move it out of here. Well, let's say you want to be aesthetic. You want a clean table, Shabbat, your wife lost the, the two candles. Good. Saturday, you want a clean table. You don't want anything there. Good. For that purpose, you're not allowed to do it? You're allowed to. Candles is a different problem. Candles. The holders. Yeah, you have to have cover now. Right. Once a year, you make tonight stipulation that all year long, whenever it's going to turn off, I'll be allowed to move it. What's the halacha? You'll be allowed to move it. Now that's the cup. What about the week? You want to take out the week, uh, not the cup. That's what that's what we're learning because it's still usable. usable. Yeah, yeah, it's not mukta. It, it's not mukta. I mean to say of gufo. It is mukta like a pencil. <laughs> that the pencil says that whenever you need the body of it <coughs> or you need the space of it, you're allowed to move it. Regular. Yeah, the whole idea is regular. If it's unre it's abnormal, like she knew, you, you can skip ha all the Allah Mukta. Just do everything between the two. about the teacups, candles, the teacups, candles. What about it? Is the it aluminum? Yeah. No? Can you throw it out? Oh. What was the neck? When was the last time somebody used it or it potentially could reuse it? You cannot. Huh? Maybe for smokers, maybe to yeah. ash in it. Huh? The aluminum candles. Take candles. Все можно сделать. Кто делает этого? Это который у Рабу Любави числа? Да, да. Бабушка бы сделала, да? Да, Ахмад, куда бабушка? That's the question he's asking. Can you move them or no? So it's all have to do. What is it? Be emet? People could have used it. To tell the truth. I saw the reason many times in Israel when you go to the sites of the grave of the Tzadikim, Tzadikim they don't have with them and they see the ones that are out they reuse it what they, oh, oh, but it's still there the wax is still there yeah we're talking he's asking okay, whatever it's, it's finished it's yeah you can use the vessel you can use it you can move it yeah if it should that time it's still, it's still usable 100 percent usable like people use it you can use the vessel in Russia, they would play Russia, you know? Yeah, you know, over there, you know. In the Gemara, they would uh, take a broken glass and, <laughs> and cover cups with this. <laughs> As Gemara this. So in, in Russia, we didn't have toys. <laughs> we would take this, bang it with a rock all the sides, and it would become a coin. Yeah. You stack it up, and with a pebble, you throw it. Yeah, yeah. And it was a game. Yeah, hell, <laughs> Cheaper game, cheaper version. I got a Yeah? So now... Maybe it could be the same thing like the week. Whoever you reused the used week. Huh? No. Did you ever see people use it? What do you mean? Reuse the old week. But what? Hanukkah yeah. time, Rebbe. Hanukkah Pick time. Pick it up. It doesn't sink again? No, no. So? You see, like you said, it's long. And everyone will pick it up, pick it up, pick it up until it becomes a little small. Then I throw it up. Next. Mm -hmm. Reuse it? Yeah. It's, it's good to reuse it's it better. if you could. Allah uh, it's good to reuse it. The Gemara says that anytime you did one mitzvah with one thing, you want to connect it to the next mitzvah. The next one to the next mitzvah. 
Not to save the dollar. It's not. It's not expensive. It's, it's a mitzvah to do. It doesn't work as well. Oh, it does. Much better. Saturated. But uh, how does it not sink by you? Around? I have the metal over. No. I have the se- cotton separate and metal separate. No. Nahon, but whenever you go like this, it falls. No. I tried it no, one, no, two no, times. No. no, you don't have the good metal one. The metal uh. one, they only sell on Hanukkah. Uh. It's not the two. Ah. Uh. Not the two. Ah. Uh. It has three the legs. <laughs> oh, no, this I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It becomes Hanukkah. Mm. So I stuck out. Okay, my cash Okay, number four. So the same way we can say this, we can say that, maybe. Like the week, the old week, people probably will not use it as often. I mean, he uses it, but most people, I never saw people, I tried, but it didn't work. It's fully off, it's too hot. Fully burned? Yeah. Burned. Uh, I'm thinking, since it could be reused... For something else. You can use it for something he else. He says that Dabulia would uh, put oil in it and uh, relight it. <laughs> and he said they used to play uh, yeah, something with it. Huh? Some kind of use you can always use space potential. 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 This potential, yeah. Potential. You can use it, potentially. I'm saying, how is it any different than the week, the old week? That we say it's considered to be not muktzeh because potential I right. could have used by potential I could have used it. Yeah. Probably. Safek de Rabbanan. Okay, number four. Is there a leniency of moving muktzeh for the sake of the space of it, dependent if its body could be used? English, huh? English. We oh. say that the pencil, if I need a pencil, right? If I need the body of the pencil, it's considered to be muktu or no? I want to scratch my back with the pencil. Am I allowed or no? Yes. yes. I'm allowed to take the pencil and scratch my back. Nahon on Shabbat? Yes. Good. What if I need the space of it? I don't need the I don't need the body of it. I need the space. The space also, I need. Also. Can I move it? Good. Yeah. Gemara says, you're allowed to move an item that meant designated for something that is not allowed like writing you're allowed to move it for sake of the space or the body mm-hmm. question do you need to have both purposes in order to qualify this to allow you to move it regularly when you need it either for the space or for the body or all the time it needs to be available those two categories that's the question Rashba holds we hold like Rashba in Maseret Shabbat 144b that the leniency of moving Muktzeh for the sake of the space of it is isn't dependent depend on if its body could be used it's not dependent since it still has a usage for during the week <coughs> it has a status of for example it is permissible to move a match for the sake of its body, even though it is unlikely anyone will ever use need to do so for the sake of its space. Its body could be used as a toothpick or to each one oneself or for someone to clean their ears. If they add a cotton very, very to the tip of it. Uh, huh? You have to be careful with that. Well, of course, you have ears. to be careful. So you see that the body of it could be used. The space, how many times a person will need the space of a match? It's a small thing. It doesn't bother as much as a pencil, as a, as a, as a uh, how do you call this, a frying pan. You know, it's the, not so big place, the space occupancy, whatever you call it. It's a small thing. So Rashba says those two things are not dependent. When a person needs the body of it, he's allowed to move it, or if he needs the space of it, he's allowed to move it. And then those two things are not dependent on one another. They are two separate leniencies. Space or the body. I need that body to scratch my back, to use it as a bookmark, to do something that is allowed with this. Rebbe, why would we think that you need both? Because the Gemara said that you're allowed to move it for the sake of the body of it, right. 
or for the sake of the space of it. So is it or that both, you can move it whenever both are there by potential, or not even by one of them. That's the debate. Rashba says it's or. It, it doesn't have, it doesn't need to have the second point. Right. One of the points is also good. Arubinov. Yoni Halfesh, Vio Jonam. Yeah, that's how we hold here. Yeah. You hold like the Rashba. Meaning it's inside a closet. You don't need the sp- you don't need any of the space. It's in a closet, designated area. Therefore, you'll be able to take it and do whatever you want with it. Right. Something useful with it. Right. It's not in the way. Right. That's only whenever he has no purpose, like a rock. You want to give it a purpose. So if you want to give it a purpose, you got to designate before Shabbat. But once I have a pencil that it is, it has a purpose. Then on Shabbat, I have two, one of two reasons to move it regularly. Either for the space of it, either for the body of it. Clear? Very good. Number five. David, read number five. Is it allowed to light up a match on Yom Tov? Answer. On Yom Tov, some permitted to light it up, and it's not comparable to the prohibition of not... Maybe I should send the question, yeah, not, yes. uh, without, uh, not from existing fire. Right. Is it allowed to light up a match on Yom Tov? Not from existing fire? Yeah, from by the itself. Box. From the matchbox. <laughs> Not from existing. Existing fire. Okay. On Yom Tov, some permitted to light it up, and it's not comparable to the prohibition of not creating fire from the wood or from the rock because of Nolat. Because the match has a special substance at the tip of it. Therefore, it's not mukta. Additionally, it could be used to light up from an existing fire. Yeah. So on Yom Tov, the Choraka, on Yom Tov, the match, Spichka, is mukta or no? No. Some say you're allowed even to light it tach, oh, t- oh. by itself. We don't hold like that in, in, in practice, but some say that you're allowed to. They say why? It says the power of the fire is in it all right <laughs> all you do is re- re- removing the blockage you are Monet. Monet type of thing that's some say we don't hold like that in practice but Ravad Yosef says we'll add them to be lenient that this is not mukse on Yom Tov and on top of it you can use it from existing fire you can take a um, fire already existing alo balo take your mid speech card I like with this. So therefore, on Shabbat and on Yom Tov, the sorry, on Shabbat it is mukte because Klishim Lachtoli Isu. But if you need the space of it, you're allowed to move it regularly. Yes. If you need the body of it, yes. you're also allowed to move it regularly. Yes. Uh, on Yom Tov, you're allowed to move it however you want, even if you don't need the space of it. It's like a tarilka. It's Klishim Lachtoli Hetev on Yom Tov, so it's more lenient. So in case you found right now speech key in your pocket on Yom Tov, can you, and I, you, you don't want to take them somewhere. Can you leave them in the house or take them out of your pocket and leave them in your house or no? Yes, I have to. Do you need to do it Bishinui? Do you need the spe- do you need to put something in the pocket instead of those man matches? No. They are like a regular thing. Can you leave it? No. Huh? What if I'll tell you more than that? Behov, listen to this. What if a person left outside before Shabbat pencil? Now it's going to rain soon. It's going to ruin the pencil. It's going to become rusted. It's going to become ruined. It's going to get ruined. You want to bring it from outside Friday, Shabbat, bring it into the house. I say, what are you doing? You're not sitting here. You don't need the space of it. You don't need to scratch your back with this. You just took it and put it inside. What are you doing? No, Rabbi, I want to save it. Right now it's going to come rain. It's going to ruin it. Yes. Can you do this or no? Yes. No. Because you're not allowed to move it unless you need the space of it or unless you need 
the body of it. Here you don't need us the space, not the body. So, he, 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 you can he, go like this, no problem. You can trick the system. You could. You could make a purpose at a, a usage. You could. You can use the space. But what if he didn't do it? What is that called? Chilul Shabbat. The person was breaking the Shabbat. So now, on Yom Tov, this the same story happens. You have a back of a box of match, matches. Score a dosh budget. matches. Can you bring it inside the house? Yeah. What's the difference? You can use it on Yom because on Shabbat, I cannot light with the with the match. I cannot make alo balo. So you have a hundred percent klisha melachtole isu. You cannot move if you don't need the space of it. Why are you moving it inside the house? Because I want to save it. Ah, because you say, not because you need the space of it. On Yom Tov, you're moving it inside the house because you want to save it. What's the answer? Hi, Sal John. Hello. Got it? The difference? Okay, very good. Let's go. Next one. Oh, now you're going to like this one, the next one. Page 78, number one. 78, the Chavos. Is one allowed to ask the Goy to turn on the fan? Yes. On Shabbat? Mm -hmm. sure. Answer. On Shabbat, at home, I should write. On Shabbat, in the house. This is Rabbis. Who said yes, because it... He wrote Chabad house. <laughs> <laughs> I type with a voice. Ah. Yeah, in Shabbat in the house, or Chabad house. Yeah. Yeah. So, what Google knows it well. That's the question. Can you ask a goy to come into your house to turn on the fan on Shabbat? Answer. What? Let's see. Whenever. Whatever is very hard. Yaakov, can you ask a goy? To come to your house to turn on the fan for you. In your house, not in the shul. Let's see, whenever. Whatever is very hard is permitted to Very ask. hot. Hard, it says. For me. Ah, okay, I'm sorry. By me, it's hot, yeah. Is permitted to ask the goy to turn on the fan, which assuming it's electric, since turning it on, electricity is only rabbinically prohibited. That is permitted to turn it on via a goy to avoid suffering in the summer. Okay? <laughs> suffering any time of the year, by the way. Huh? <laughs> right, but makom tzav. I updated it by me. Remember this equation. To tell the goy. Step number one. To do isur de rabbanan. Step number two. Forsake to avoid. Suffer, step number three, allowed. On all mitzvah. Huh? All or mitzvah. Yeah. Like let's say you don't have yain to say kedusha. Yeah. Can you go? Can you? Tell the goy to buy you wine on Shabbat okay. for kedusha. Can you tell him or no? Ah. Goy, is it suda? What did zengi? Is it kupi mine? Kupi mine? What zengi? What kupi? What magazine? Can you do this or no? No. Uh, yes. wow. 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 To buy on Shabbat, it's asur by the Torah or Chachamim? Chachamim. By the Torah is only if you're writing it's asur. Chachamim said don't buy and sell because you might write. When people buy and sell, they always end up writing, not to forget things. So for people not to come to write, Chachamim said don't sell. That's why I tell the person one time, he told me, Rabbi, this guy tells me, I'm a Khalil Shabbat, I'm going to burn Gehenom on... He owns some Rabot Shabbat Rabot. Oh, yeah? Da? When you have a magazine, at Kriti. Ah, what? He's there? Da, he's there. Oh. I said, so why he tells you, Khalil Shabbat? You say, I'm a barber. So you're a Khalil Shabbat, what's the question? No, he says, I am Gehenom. Kagbote, I want to go to Gehenom near to. So listen, you both got to go get home. <laughs> Question is, which level? <laughs> Never so 
לא, ויכול להיות לא יש יותר עסקה גם לראשון. לא, he's there. Okay, but the Sabbath is right. Question to you, Bechol. One guy gave a haircut on Shabbat. Another guy worked the whole... He gave one haircut, two minutes. Second one, didn't give haircut. All the Shabbat is in the store. Which one made bigger Avera? Why? Не только это, не только это. Also, the buying and selling that the other guy did the whole Shabbat was only the Rabbanan. At this guy one time cut one hair, one head, millions of Doraita. Поэтому каждый человек должен быть осторожен. У тебя есть родственники на шаббат, работают парикмахери. Tell him, Johnny, that day is better for you to go and sell things. Instead of, if you need the money, I need the money, I have a mortgage at this. Better for you to end up doing the Rabbana and then Chazva Shalom doing millions of dollars. It's the worst way you can break the shabbat. But they sell prestige. Huh? They sell prestige. Oh. Okay, that could be the right. Depends on the printer receipts also. Could be the right. In English, in Hebrew, not everybody holds that English uh, letters are the right. In Beta Mishkan, they wrote in Hebrew. Huh? Nothing to do with Teslas. Barbers. To get there. Ah. Train, train, walk. There's a, ask a Uber. Order on the phone, Uber. It's much easier, they sue, than Chaz Vashalom cutting hair. Cutting hair is the worst Yisur on Shabbat. Millions of Yisurim in one, in one head. Bechot. So now, if so, question to you now. To tell the Goy to buy me wine, yes. it's Asur Doraita, buy and sell, or the Rabbanan? The Rabbanan. What we learn to tell the Goy, step number one. To do Yisur the Rabbanan, buy me the wine. For sake of, which is second step. For the sake of Mitzvah Kiddush is the third step. Shvut, the Shvut, be makom mitzvah. Allah. If he decides to drive the car, it's allowed also. If he decides to drive the car. Goy cannot work for you, he can work for him. That's why you have to make that business to be in his interest to work, not because of you. We spoke about this already. Okay. With, no, with, yeah, with Antonio, owner. Remember, put Antonio as the owner. Dabichov. Oh. Da. You tell me which which light do you have? Sukkot Yom Tov or Sukkot Na Shabbat Katori? Первый этот год был Шабат. It's whatever. It is ever. <laughs> yeah, понял. So now, which light do you have inside the sukkah? LED. Горячее освещение или холодное освещение? Газ, газ. Я такой я знаю. Такой. Такой вот это. Такой. Лампочки я знаю. Какой лампочки? Если вы трогаете он. Газ. Go like this? No, so it's fine. So it's LED. LED, запомните, ламед, алев, далед, ло, дорайта. LED, ло, дорайта. It's not дорайта. Это не патори запрещено. So if you have, go, you're telling a go, step number one. To do is sudra banan, light LED, step number two. two. For sake of mitzvah, for Sukkot to sit inside there, step number three. All the three steps are fulfilled. Check, check, check. Therefore, it's kasher, you're allowed to. Directly. 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 But if I want to tell the goy, goy, I did not get a chance to wash my shirt. Can you please wash the shirt for me? I need it for mitzvah. I have near Shabbat Chatan. У меня дочка женится, со сын женится, это шаббат, сейчас все придут, я у меня все кетчуп не могу. Помой мне. Ты тел де гой. One step. To do isu laundry. Какой это? Кто сказал нельзя? Who said? Дорайта. So that's дорайта уже, все упал. 
No more. You cannot continue. Hey, oh, Rabbi, mitzvah. <laughs> mitzvah, I'm not going to help you because number two is not fulfilled. Clear? Эти три этапа, если пройдем, разрешено. Если один из этапов упал, все упало. Yeah, Imusha, if you ask them to buy you and he decide to use his Good. Car. For mitzvah, Isu de Rabbanan, for sake of a mitzvah or a pain or a loss. Бехор фамидим. Okay. If he decides to use the car on his own while doing what you yeah, asked him. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Now what if regarding the laundry, what if you say my shirt is uh, dirty, can you clean it? You didn't say laundry and he decides to do laundry also I was gonna clean it in a kosher huh? way. Whatever. Well whatever. You didn't say laundry, you said can you please clean it? He could have, he could have made the use of the Havanan way. I don't know. Ah, wow. Tell us, ah. I don't know, but let's say there's a way, and he decides to do laundry. It's kasher. Yeah, if he could have cleaned it in the Havanan, yeah. And if not, then no. Yeah. Ah, he's gonna give it to. Uh, what Yosef says about the um, uh, dishwasher machine that you tell her go, go, you wash the dishes. He decides to put the dishwasher machine. That's not. That's from the door. Yeah, dishwasher machine is the right. He gets. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. a heating uh -huh. element over there. Yeah, you, you don't really need it, do you? you do you need so it? So since he could have, he could have washed it by hand. He, for his own comfort, decided to do it by the machine. It's, fine. it's up to him. But how is he going to laundry your shirt in a derabanan way? No alternative. So there is no way. How, but how, what do you mean? However, you want. Ah, dishwasher case. Yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Next. Says the Rabbi Tzion Mutzafi. Kodesh. A person should try his best efforts to get himself hadas meshulash, like we have over here. We had it downstairs. Right. Yeah. Begami meno meshulash. Say what if you don't have? You know hadas like we had in a Sukkot. The small leaves one that has all the three leaves in one spot says that Rizal Kadosh for Shabbat, you should try your best to have this two, uh, two bundles of them. Bundle. Two bundles. Each bundle by halacha, it's three vietki, three. Let's see. I just have I forgot. Be, be, uh, Stem. Branches? Stems. Three stems. Try to get three stems, tie it, and the second three stems, tie it. It's not that hard. You go to the flower store, myrtles, Nazavait, say that. Hadassim, myrtles. Many flower stores have carry them, not all of them. Especially in Brooklyn, they have them. If a person wants to get them, it's you a mitzvah. The, the quality, how it looks. So now, so they have those. the best one, says Rabbi Tzion Mutzafi, is to get, like you get for Sukkot. As I try, three leaves from the same spot. Three leaves from the same spot, only 14 centimeters. About that, we have 14 centimeters. It's not that much. Double Aleph. Double we don't need. Yeah. Regular Kashir, which is 14 centimeters, it's the best for Shabbat. Not for Sukkot. For Shabbat. To say Bracha on it. If a person cannot find that, says, still bring Adas. Make sure you don't lose on the Adas. Why? And listen what's the order he say, tells you to do. Says Shara Kavanot. Bechor, Shara Kavanot, Arizal says, and when a person comes to the house Friday night, he says, after he sings, Shalom Aleichem, Eshet Chayl Mimza, Shuzil Prachita, he says, go around the table one time, counterclockwise. Opposite than the clock. Opposite? Clock takitzo, prana? Na barot, shem clock itzi. He says, clock is, has to do with time. Time is only in Olam Azeh. In Olam Aba, there is no time. So you going if you doing olam azeh circle, you the olam azeh is full of tumah, tumah, full of impurity. Olam azeh. You want to bring kedusha to your Shabbat table, so you have to do it counter clockwise. With two bundles in your hand. No, no, hold on. One. Th so you went like sefer Torah when you take out. Mm -hmm. How do you take sefer Torah? How do you circle? Mm -hmm. You're going from there, coming to Teva, Zakon Chili Teva, Bradna, to that. What, what circle it goes? Opposite than the clock. Nazavai, it's an English counterclockwise. 
So do whenever you're dancing on wedding and stuff like that, it's good to dance counterclockwise. Hakafot, counterclockwise. If you promise him, he's dealing this. Counterclockwise. Always the counterclockwise is bringing Kedusha to that area. Says the Arizal, whenever you're coming home Friday night, Taki Fashulhan Pam Ahad Beshtika. One time circle the table, quiet. One time. Parazi. Aharkar, Tikah Biad Hashtia Gudot Adas. Take two bundles of Hadassim. New Vietki Hadassim. Bundles of Hadassim. This one you tie before Shabbat three. This one you tie before Shabbat three. At the budget, bundles. Put them together. Echad keneged zachor, echad keneged shamo. Put them together. It says, and say bracha, bore, atze, besamin. And say pasuk, reach, nichoach, ishe, ladonai. This is the, the good smell as a korban for Hashem. Right now, they asked very big rabbi in Eretz Israel, his name is Deyanuka. He's the. He is a rabbi that Baruch Hashem, all the rabbis accepted him. Sfaradim, Ashkenazim, Bukharim, Buzinim, every single one of them. Wow. He is a very, very humble and very, very chacham. Uh, very young, right? Young, yeah, he's like in his 30s probably. They asked him what to do right now, there is a war in Eretz Israel. What to do to help Am Israel? I was shocked his answer. He said, Se Brachon Besamim. That's important that is especially these days to do it on the best way. No, no. Every day. Especially on Shabbat. The mitzvot on Shabbat counts on a totally different level. You're on absolute level by Shabbat. It says, and that's the secret, says the Ramba, the, uh, at, um, the Arizal, whenever Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai came out of the cave, Every place Rabbi Azar used to look at, what he used to do? Burn. Burn. What the Bat Kol said? Oh, you came God. out of the cave to destroy my world. Why was he burning every place, do you know? He said, how can people lose their life into something that today they have, tomorrow they will drop and leave? What are you running up? Rabbi Lazar couldn't comprehend. How can people make the wrong cheshbon? Hashem says we need people to establish this world also. Go back to your cave. If you cannot seek good in people, go back to your cave. He you didn't get the point of the Torah. After one year, Rabbi Shimon tells him that's it. Mishpat reshaim begehinom. Shtemesre chodeshim in olam abai. He says the reshaim judged up to 12 months. Must be we already passed the judgment. We can come out now. They came out. He says, Rabbi Shimon saw a person that runs, runs to the house with two bundles of Hadassim. He's asking him, what's the reason you have those Hadassim? He said, Rabbi, this one bundle, can I get Zachor? The second bundle, can I get Shamo? Hashem said in the, turf, in the Ten Commandments, Hashem said in the Fourth Commandment, Shamo with Yom HaShabbat Lekadesho. In a different place, Hashem says second time the Ten Commandments we read, Parashat Et Chana, Parashat Ito. It says over there, Zachor Yom HaShabbat HaKadoshu. So what did Hashem say? To keep Shabbat or to remember Shabbat? Says the Gemara, in Masechet Shabbat, the Lamed Gimel, Shamor Vezachor Bedibur Ehad Hishmi'anu El Ameyuhad Adonai Ehad I remember that song. Yeah. What do we sing over there? Hashem put Shamor Zachor one shot. Bechor, can you do this? Can you say two words in one shot? Not one after another. Can you say two words in one time? You need to have two mouths for that, huh? Yes. Hashem said, Shamor bezachor bedibur echad. In one shot. 
Hishmi anu, Hishmi anu, Choyta, made us hear. Shomea, Hishmi anu, Ela meyuchad, the special God. No other God can do this. Meyuchad, every tzih, special. It says, the Arizal, that's the secret why Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai said, ah, look, I'm Israel, even though they're working, they're working the ground, but at the end, they're making all this olam elevated. Kadosh, l'chvod Hashem. Says the Kadosh Baruch Hu, because Rabbi Shimon starts seeing positive in the people, he allowed it to come out of the cave. Says the Arizal, why did the Kadosh Baruch Hu send this guy to Rabbi Shimon? With two bundles of Hadassim, Shamo, Zacho. He says to tell you that this guy was rushing to the house to get this mitzvah over the Hadassim. He says, what's the mitzvah? He says, one time you circle the table without the Hadassim. After you circle full one circle, take the two bundles of Hadassim, put them together, say bracha, before the bracha, say reach nicho achishel Adonai, pick it up and say, bore atze, besamim bracha, smell it. Make sure you like you like the smell. Put them together, he says. Reach nichoach ishe ladonai. Say the korbanot. Take it as a bonus. Reach nichoach ishe ladonai. Motak together doesn't matter for them to touch together. Doesn't matter one hand, two hands. Doesn't matter. The idea for the bundles to touch. Bekachem ben shte yadecha yemanit besmalit. חברים יחד, ותברך עליהם, בורא עצה בסמים, ואחר כך תריח בהם. אבתי שאת ברכה, סמל דם, ואחר כך תחזור להקיף את השולחן, פעם שנית. אבתי שאת ברכה, סמל, put them down, and go around את השולחן. one more time. רשום איתם ביחד להחזיק בסדר. רשום איתם ביחד להחזיק אותם. אז פעם שנייה להקיף. Now, Bechoraka, during Havdala, what's the problem? Well, you don't need it at Kashli Nijeli Bopakupad. It stays a long time. I bought it maybe two, three weeks already. It stays. What about from Sukkot? I still have it in my bag from Sukkot. It's okay? Some are Sukkot. Some are Sukkot. Some are Sukkot. Three, three, three. Samaluch. If you cannot. Close. Are you going to find that? Huh? Even in Sukkot, you can't find that. No, you could. You could. You go to the. There is a guy in Brooklyn. He told me. He says the Chinese or whatever the store, the flower store. And uh, he says you buy a bundle. They're very cheap. It's not expensive. It's out of this bundle. You have to pick. You'll, you'll find, he says. Six, ten of them sometimes he says he finds. Out of one bundle that he sells. In Brooklyn, he says, this guy, one time I come, kind of so, I see him, he brings these things. I said, wow, listen, I wanted so much to start doing this for years. I cannot find this. Can you, where are you getting this? Tells me, this mitzvah, I don't think I'm a Kabbalist, he tells me. I said, huh? He said, this mitzvah, my rabbi, he says, was from Eretz Israel, a big Kabbalist. So he passed away already. He said, one time he came to visit over here in America, and I hosted him. He said on Friday, he said, listen, we make where we went, halot we bought, hadasim, where are hadasim? He said, what are you talking about? He said, Arisa says you must have hadasim. Why, 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 why? He said, we start circling and circling and circling, didn't give up. He said, we almost broke Shabbat because of the hadasim. He said, he made sure to bring the hadasim. How much did it cost on Sukkot? He said, after I saw how dedicated the rabbi was for this hadasim, I said, that's it. Every Shabbat, I'm going to keep up for myself, take up on myself the other thing. He says, and then I, one rabbi came to my house. He saw this in my house. He said, where'd you get it? Over there. Ah, he also wanted This one also wanted He said, every Thursday I go to the store, I buy a lot, and I give him, I give him, I give him. Like this person is a tzaddik trying to do mitzvot for other people. Huh? Brooklyn, I told you. I can give you his number. I'll give you the number. Huh? English, English, English. Now, before, during Abdallah, 
You should not say besamim on anything else besides this hadasim. According to Arizal. I'm reading to you. And smell, he says, three times. He says, with this, you get bracha on your nefesh. Ruach in Three leaves. Keneged naran. Nefesh. Ruach in That's why they all have to come from the same spot because they're all in the same person. If I take the one from the Sukkot. So believe that tomorrow we're going to see more of these secrets at the end of the Shiur. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen, Amen. Rabbi Hanan, Amen.